It is April the 29th at 10.30 in the morning and we are in the retractable roof greenhouse shade house at Inifap in Culiacan, Mexico. These Don Raul Roma tomatoes were planted January 20th. Looking at the number of fruit per plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No bees have been used for pollination. It's only been natural. You can see that there is some white fly present, but the tomatoes are not showing any significant negative effects from their presence. The roof has been controlled with an outside surface temperature sensor. When the outside temperature is below 16, the roof is closed. When the roof is between 16 and 30, it is retracted. And when it is over 30 degrees Celsius, it is closed 85% to block the infrared radiation and reduce the transpiration rate of the plant by blocking the wind, keeping the infrared off the leaves, and raising the relative humidity. We will now go into the Casa Sombra or insect net house. It is 1035 on April the 29th and we are now looking at the Don Raul Roma tomato in the insect net house or Casa Sombra. On this plant there is one, two, three, four trusses, but there's only one fruit there, five, six fruiting trusses. You can see that the plant is not as mature as in the retractable roof. This is because the insect net has blocked par light, has reduced CO2, and has also blocked the infrared radiation from warming up the plant and drying off the leaves in the morning. So it is 1035 and the soil temperature is 32 degrees, 34 degrees Celsius. 
It is now 1037 and we are looking at the down rural variety that was growing outside. You can see the plant is developing dwarf characteristics due to the excessive heat and transpiration. A check of the soil temperatures shows us 63, 60 to 63 Celsius. It is now 12.30 on April the 29th and we're going to check the soil temperatures in the full sun and in the shade cast by the retractable roof. The air temperature is approximately 30 degrees. The soil temperature is anywhere from 60 to 69 degrees. As we start to move into the shade from the white plastic roof, the soil temperature is dropping to 39 to 40 degrees. In January, the heating effect of the sun is positive because we want it to warm the soil. But during the late spring and summer months, the excessive radiation is negative because it's creating excessive leaf, fruit, and soil temperatures.